Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create a case study video in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Case studies are a great way to show off your product or service in action. It can help you land new customers, build trust and credibility, and they're also great for SEO. In today's tutorial, we're going to create a case study video for a fictitious company, Main Street Contractors. What should you include in a case study? You should include the customer's problem, how you helped solve the problem, the results that they achieved. You probably might want to have the customer give a little quote, and then finally a call to action. And here's my little script that I'm going to use today. And I do have each of those elements here. I've got Sarah Johnson wanted to update her Main Street home, but had a very tight budget. So that's going to be her problem. And then in here, we helped her in several ways. Um, for example, we helped her make smart compromises. And she worked with us on, you know, what we should do and what she should do and so on. The results of her efforts are stunning. And of course, here we're going to show a photo of her finished home. And then a customer quote, we have Sarah saying so how happy she is to work with us. And then at the very end, a call to action. If you're a Main Street area, be sure and contact us for a free consultation. Okay, so we've got all the elements we need and we are ready to begin. Now, of course, you're gonna need to gather your materials. You probably wanna use some photographs and whatnot. So I have already downloaded a few photos that I'm gonna use. And again, this is all fictional. Okay, so I have deleted my introductory scenes there and I am now ready to start building. So let's start with our logo. Hit upload it, here it is, so Main Street Contractors. And then we want somebody to represent our character, Sarah. And so she's kind of a do-it-yourselfer. I'm typing in construction. And we can use any of these women with the hard hats on. I do have a photo of a lady that I'll use later, and I think this will work fine with her. And then let's add some text. It's nice and big. We want people to know it's a case study. And then we can use a different font for the project details. Now, if we'd like, we could include a photo of the remodeling project. We'll think about that. I'm not sure if I am going to do that or not, but you certainly could. And that would give the viewers a little hint of what's to come. Let's take a font here. Doesn't really matter which one. And type in a question mark. You notice how that's getting chopped off a little bit? Just add a space. And that's no longer being chopped off. So we're going to be talking about questions here. People are going to have questions. Is it in my budget? Is it this? Is it that? Is it that? So let's go ahead and have some questions put on. All right, so what's going to happen? We're going to have our Main Street Contractor logo come on, case study, and some details. They're asking questions. The questions are going to pop up. And then after the questions pop up, then I'm going to draw in Sarah and then it's going to say Sarah Johnson wanted to do this and that. So we need to do a little bit of tuning. As you probably know, I like the fade effect. So I am turning that so it fades on. I think it come on real quick. Case study's fine. I think these will probably be okay. Okay, so I am having some technical difficulties here. My, for whatever reason, this audio is not coming through in my headphones. So what I will do is build this and then I'll pause the video and do the timing offline. And then I'll show you the finished product. So we'll have to on, on top. And we want to still be able to see these question marks. So we're just gonna rearrange them a little bit. And that should be fine. Let's go ahead and add a little extra time at the end of the scene. Now, the next thing we're going to do is talk about one of the most important things that Sarah did was plan ahead. So we need a new scene for that, which I have right here. 
And what do we mean by planning ahead? She had some drawings and measurements and whatnot. So I'm going to upload my photo. Go to props, upload. And I have quite a few photos that I already had downloaded. So let's just bring them all in. Just drag them in. And you'll see, here's that photo I was talking about earlier. I'm going to use a chandelier. This is the one I'm going to use right now. And then we've got some interior shots, okay? And here we're going to add our heading to make it nice and big because I want to have this be kind of actionable advice for the viewers. Here's what she did. Here's what you need to do. And then ultimately when we come to the end, here's what she did with us. Here's what you need to do with us. So <laughs> I'm just kind of planting that seed. And again, I'm going to have this fade on. We just click the pencil icon and then choose fade. And we'll add some time. This is going to be, you know, a paragraph or two of spoken text. So probably need a little bit of time there. Then we're ready for our next point. Add a new scene. So go back to props. We'll go with this one. And then we want our text. And this is going to be point number two. And again, guess what I'm going to do here? And I am going to turn that to fade. And then let's add a couple seconds at the end. Because again, I'm still going to be talking. Let's do another one. This is going to be number three. And this is where we are talking about fixtures. Not only am I going to talk about the chandelier, I'm going to say the results are stunning because this is a pretty picture of our house. And I think that would be good. So we need a lot more time on this scene. So let's say 20 seconds because I'm going to say quite a bit. And then here we want our testimonial. So we want our actual woman here. And then let's get a speech bubble. And let's type in what she says. And she says, I'm so happy. We want to click word wrap. This is a lengthy little speech here. And then let's size it. And let's draw her name in as well. Now I did do a little voiceover. I tried to make my voice sound different. Mm -hmm. So in the actual video, you will hear her voice saying, I'm so happy with the results of my remodel. And let's do some fiddling here. What do you think we're gonna do? Yes, we are gonna fade this in. And now we need our call to action. Our logo. Let's make it large. And then we want our website address or our phone number, whichever you decide. And then some time at the very end, solids. And we're actually quite close on the timing. Remember it was gonna be 126 based on my audio. And then you'll hear it at the 10 seconds at the end that is just extra. So I think my audio is going to be just fine. I'm going to need to do a little bit of fiddling just to make sure it lines up with what's happening on screen. So bear with me. I'm going to do that offline, like I said, because I can't hear. I don't know what's going on with that, but I will figure it out and I will be right back. So I'm going to pause the video. Okay, so I went ahead and uploaded the video and did my timings and then I added some music. So I chose happy warning over here under the music tab. And it's maybe a little bit shorter than I need it to be, but I think it'll be fine. And I did turn down the volume dramatically because it comes in really loud compared to the voiceover. So you'll see I'm down to 9% here. So all you do is you click on the speaker icon and you use the your mouse to adjust it. And 10%, that should be just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and export the video and then we'll be done. When it comes to remodeling your home, there are many considerations. What kind of changes do you wanna make? What is your budget? How will the changes impact your home's value and functionality? 
Sarah Johnson wanted to update her Main Street home, but she had a very tight budget. Here's how she managed to do it without sacrificing quality or style. One of the most important things that Sarah did was plan ahead. She drew up a detailed plan of what she wanted, including measurements and materials needed. She knew exactly what she could do herself and what she should leave to us, the professionals. This helped her stay on track budget-wise and prevented any surprises along the way. Though Sarah dreamed of a luxurious master bathroom with a spa-like tub, she knew that wasn't feasible on her budget. Instead, we helped her to make smart compromises, such as choosing affordable tile flooring and replacing the bathtub with a spacious shower. Sarah also got creative when it came to fixtures and finishes. For example, she found a great deal on a chandelier for the dining room at a thrift store. The results of Sarah's efforts are stunning. Her home has been completely transformed, but it didn't break the bank. Here's what Sarah has to say. I'm so happy with the results of my remodel. Main Street contractors helped me achieve my vision and stay on budget. If you're considering remodeling your home, be sure to follow Sarah's tips. You'll be surprised at what you can achieve even on a tight budget. And if you're in the Main Street area, be sure to contact us for a free consultation. We'd love to help you get started. And that's how you can create your own case study video using Dudley. Thanks for watching.